wasting some time here with a video about the inert fuse uh, HE shell skill and what you should get that on a kind of explanation about HE damage and penetration works so the way HE penetration works is uh, it is the shell caliber so for example 150 millimeters or 152 divide that by six that gives you the 25.3 so call it 25 um, and if you have the skill, it boosts that up over 32 millimeters of penetration. That's just the way it works. If the HE shell has penetration to penetrate something like this, 32 millimeters, millimeters of armor, you will get the one third damage roll of the rated damage. So it says on there. So it kind of it opens up a lot all of the fore end armor on battleships uh, tier eight and up. Uh, Deck armors on some of them, uh, side armor, the uh, upper belt armor on a lot of them, and obviously you can already penetrate the superstructure with that 25 that you get uh, just from the caliber size, and so it opens up a lot of areas that you can damage, which is good, uh, and it doesn't matter the angle that these shells hit, they can hit at a really high angle, it opens up all this area, uh, it doesn't open up the belt upper belt armor but you do have torpedo bulges on the Iowa that stick up out of the water so uh, I mean really it would just make more sense to shoot the superstructure but it does open up these nice uh, uh, aft end and uh, fore end sections on the all of these ships especially the uh, the American ships and the Japanese ships have a lot more areas that it opens up for you to damage with uh, the 150s uh, Still viable skill for 180s because uh, it gets you past uh, 38 millimeters of armor penetration. It gets you up to 39. So it does kind of open up some other belt areas that you'll be able to penetrate. Um, but 203s, 203s uh, can already penetrate 32 millimeters of armor. Their stock number is 33.83. And with this skill, it bumps it up to 43 so there's not really any armor category that is going to enhance you like enhance your ability to penetrate so it doesn't make any sense it doesn't make any sense for the mosques uh, 220s either uh, but 180s and uh, 150s it does make sense to actually get this skill if uh, if you want to get more penetration excuse me it's burp. now with the 130s and the 127s um, Kind of makes sense. It does let you penetrate 25 millimeters of deck or of armor. Uh, it actually gets you up to 27 from 21. Uh, I don't know why I clicked that. I was clicking on tech tree. Um, I mean, it, but it, those guns don't have high enough uh, high enough damage or, or, or fire chance, anyways, and you're losing a lot. But here's what I meant by not so great. Uh, as far as penetrating to German battleships because uh, they have better deck armor uh, slightly better armor belts slightly <laughs> and the uh, even they have better foreign plating too because uh, at tier 9 they start to get this nice swath of 60 millimeter uh, armor with the smaller areas of 32 that you can actually penetrate um, so back to the 127s and 130s it will let destroyers, or let's say in Atlanta, penetrate a lot of uh, a lot more areas on cruisers, especially like higher tier cruisers, tier eight, nine, ten cruisers. It does open up spaces on there to where you can get good damage into them, like the Des Moines. The Des Moines doesn't have the armor to repel <laughs> that kind of HE. Um, the Moskva does, uh, so it's not going to help you with the Moskva. But you know, it is kind of up to y'all how you want to do it but definitely in my mind makes sense for 150s and 180s so there it is i'm going to go to a clip of showing the uh, penetration you can get and the enhanced damage and uh that you can get with this uh the skill all right and we're here and this video uh is without the skill it's a pretty quick video i think it's like three minutes long but uh these are all the tier eight battleships that is, I need to expand my my preview here. That is a Yamagi. All right, see, so I have to expand the video. Uh, and here we go, the Yamato. 
not uh, so great right now. I actually had a, a secondary fired at uh, Battleship earlier. Set him on fire. I think it's probably a pretty good representation if you uh, try to uh, shoot the bow of any of these ships, which would uh, be a bad idea uh, before, because you would really just want to aim for superstructure. Um, but now you don't have to do that. And a lot of these battleships, uh, a lot of them like to go bow in. That is a thing which I, I always disliked. Here's a Bismarck. Um, Bismarcks are hard to penetrate uh, either way. I don't, the German battleships really do have a lot better armor against uh, cruisers. Um, and there's a Gur first. Put some shells into him. Oh no, it's not going to do too much. But you do get a fire chance even if the shells break. Uh, so this uh, captain only has 25 millimeters of penetration on the, those shells, so obviously they're just it's just not going to happen. There's no <laughs> scenario where these shells actually get through shooting out the bow, shooting at 32 millimeters of armor. Um, and so you really you just be stuck with a uh, superstructure. There's one random penetration. I don't know where that shell went, but it went in somewhere. <laughs> and the uh, Vertigroba, that thing, these things, man. Eight hits, eight breaks. Um, like I said, you do get uh, a fire chance, but it is reduced uh, if the shells break. Uh, so, you know. That's what it is. But I do really like this skill because it does open up an entire area of all of these ships that is possible to damage now, not just the uh, superstructure. Um, so I think it's worth it on uh, 150s. Uh, on 180s, I'm probably going to... This captain... Uh, I'm going to show you in a moment. My Kutuzov uh, slash Dmitry Donskoy captain. I'm going to leave it on there until I get to the Moscow. And I'll probably just respect that captain after that. But uh, definitely worth it. I would say if you, definitely worth it if you have a Molotov and a Kutuzov. Probably just to have a captain that has this. That's a Russian captain. that So you can get through some extra, extra different special types of armor that you normally wouldn't uh, be able to do. That sentence didn't make sense, but uh, confidence is not guaranteed. And here we go. This is uh, that's the last of it. I only had two penetrations on that video. I probably actually should have kept that. Uh, but yeah, it was two penetrations <laughs> in that entire uh, series. And here's with the uh, inert fuse. Five penetrations right off the back. <laughs> that. Uh, more penetrations than the other 160 some odd shells I fired, and there's nice nine penetrations. Um, obviously not representative of any kind of combat you're going to see while playing the game, uh, but definitely uh, bow on battleships uh, vulnerable to uh, these shells, uh, the smaller shell types now with this skill. Which I like. I like doing damage. Anyways, you'll see the uh, shell damage. I tried to keep the shell amount uh, as far as it hits the same or, or fairly close. I did go a little bit over. Um, obviously, the Gur first is better armored uh, than the other battleships. But look at that. Nine hits. 6,300 damage on the bow. <laughs> uh, what was that? My wife's watching uh, TV. I uh, don't know if y'all heard that, but man, I did. And there's Yamato. So it does open up a, a lot of uh, armor areas that you can penetrate on the Yamato. So you can penetrate the upper deck. Uh, not the upper deck, like uh, the upper uh, side armor and the superstructure and the bow. And the aft. So, I mean, it really, instead of just the superstructure, you get uh, three new places to shoot on a Yamato to get damage. Same thing with uh, North Carolina. Y'all probably tired of me talking about bow armor right now. <laughs> and the Zumo. Uh, same thing, you can get uh, the upper belt armor you can get through, if I recall correctly. 5,000 damage on the bow. Man. And back to a German ships. Two German ships in a row right here. Not great damage off these. Because uh, they do have that... Uh, Trolley armor, 
still. So, I mean, German battleships, if you get this skill and you're shooting at a lot of German battleships, well, you know, you're just going to have to stick with that uh, superstructure area. Uh, for the most part, I mean, obviously shooting the bow isn't bad to get a fire on it. If that's uh, if they've used their damage control and they have fires everywhere else, uh, not a bad choice then, but obviously don't want to be shooting at bow armor. The tier 9 and tier 10 German battleships, just not a lot there. The Bismarck, you can get a lot more damage just because that 60 millimeters of armor in the middle is a lot smaller. Um, but obviously it is still uh, mitigating some of that damage there. <laughs> just toasting. Toasting all the uh, bows of all these battleships. <laughs> Anyways, 158 shells um, have landed so far. Uh, five, five hits, five penetrations. That's just kind of crazy. I think this is my last, uh, or second to last volley. So slightly more uh, shells fired. Oh, look, 98 penetrations, 65 non-pins. A lot better than two penetrations on the last one. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully this uh, helps y'all decide if you want to get this skill or not. Come save me back uh, next video.